Hi, in this video, we're going to be covering this FRQ question called Even Odd Proof. So this question asks us to prove that for all integers x and y, if 2xy plus 2x plus y and 4xy plus 5x plus 5y plus 3 are both odd, the x and y are both odd. Now we can use the following six axioms about odd and even numbers without proof. So this just deals with the multiplication and addition of different odd and even combinations. So additionally, we are able to say that, for example, if a is even and b is odd and a squared plus b squared plus ab plus b is even. So steps like this are going to be allowed where we can just combine all these different rules into one line in the proof. So first, we're going to actually be proving the statement by contrapositive. And the reason we might do this is we might notice that it is easier to start with x and y instead of this longer equations. So we can flip this direction to if um, given x and y, we prove something about these longer statements, it'll probably be easier. So for this, let's first write down the contrapositive. And this is basically if x is even or y is even then we can say that 2xy plus 2x plus y or 4xy plus 5x plus 5y plus 3 is even. So from this, we might notice that we might want to pursue proof by cases because we just have to prove for all cases where either x is even or y is even, one of these is true. So first, let's go over our first case. So let our first case be x is even and y is even. So this is allowed since we are trying to consider all cases where x is even or y is even, including when both of them are even. So let's try out 2xy plus 2x plus y. So for this equation, we can notice that since we have 2s here, these first two terms will always equal to an even. And since y is an even, this is going to be an even. So we've shown that either 2x y plus 2x plus y, or 4xy plus 5x plus 5y plus 3 is even. Let's move on to our second case. Now in our second case, let's suppose x is even, but y is odd. So once again, let's try out 2x plus 2xy plus 2x plus y. Since y is odd, this entire equation will actually equal to odd. So now let's try out this equation. 4xy plus 5x plus 5 y plus 3. So we know that this part is even, and then since x is even, 5x is also even, since y is odd, 5y is odd, so we have an odd plus an odd, which is going to be equal to an even. So once again, this case is proving that one of these equations is even. Now for our final case, case 3, let's suppose x is odd and y is even. So in this case, 2xy plus 2x plus y, once again, since y is even, this entire equation is going to value out to even, and once again, we've proven this. So notice we don't have to consider the case of when x is odd and y is odd, since our if statement is assuming that at least x or y is odd. So essentially, we've proved that in all cases, 2xy plus 2x plus y, or 4xy plus 5x plus 5y plus 3 is even. So that's going to be a contrapositive, and since we proved the contrapositive, we know that the original statement must also be true. So that concludes our proof where we are using both contrapositive and then cases inside of this proof.